What's up guys, Slim here. Uh, just wanted to uh, share a quick story with you, something I saw. This was not, this didn't happen while I was on the road. Um, this actually happened while I was on my home time. Um, but it was raining, uh, there was a bicycle, and it was just kind of in a really busy intersection um, in the town that I live in. Which is cool, cause like, I ride a bike, I've ridden in uh, bigger cities and smaller towns and stuff and um, so I definitely know what it's like to ride a bike out in the road you got to really be safe but this guy was was just being an idiot and um, so we were it was actually uh, I was in my personal car and I was driving and here's this bicycle and he's just kind of weaving and bobbing in and out um, being real dangerous um, and so well he goes and we're behind him and he's trying to turn left into Walmart. Well, there's a truck turning right um, off the road. He's already stopped at the stop sign. He's already engaged in the turn. And so here comes this bicycle, and he tries to go in between the curb and the track trailer tandems. While the truck is trying to make a right turn, and it's on the blind side, the passenger side of the truck. And so well, we see it and, you know, it's hard for the truck driver. He's already initiating the right turn. I don't know if he's, he said he saw the bicycle, but he just assumed that the bicycle was not, maybe, you know, was going to go in the grass, kind of hop up over the curb and go in the grass. Or, But he wasn't expecting the bicycle to try to cut in between the curb and the trailer of the uh, that he was pulling. So, well, eventually the bike got pinned the wheel the front wheel of the bike got pinned in between the tandems and the uh and the curb and so it's just kind of like sticking straight up on its own and so the you know and so well i see what happens and the and obviously he he stops after he you know once the bike is kind of pinned in there um the bicyclist gets off and 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 goes and, and, and gets it you know kind of stands off to the side and, and so well I stop I get out and I walk over there I pull over to a parking lot and I cross a, it's a busy street it's over there where Walmart is and you know where wherever there's a Walmart it was Saturday night 6 p.m. something like that people are at the restaurants and on, at Walmart shopping and getting stuff they don't need and so well I walk over across the street, go in there, and see, you know, I start talking to this bicyclist guy, and the truck driver had already been out, and he's talking to the cyclist, and I hear the cyclist say something to the effect of, you didn't even stop at the stop sign, you just ran the stop sign, blah, 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 and, you know, it just really bothered me, and I, then I see another person, they're on their cell phone, they're calling the cops. And so I'm like, man, I'm going to stick around for this. So I stick around because I saw the whole thing happen. The 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 dude on the bicycle was just a complete idiot. And I've got the I am a big safety guy for bicyclists cuz I like I said I I'm, you know, I, I rode a bicycle and uh, did a lot of cycling in the city and stuff. So but so well, the cops show up and I'm actually one of the first ones to to talk to the police. I was like, you know, Here's another guy. He's just trying to get back out on the road. He probably was taking his 30-minute break or his 10-hour break there at the Walmart and then was leaving. And, uh, you know, and so I was like, man, this, I saw the whole thing happen. This truck driver did stop at the stop sign and was trying to complete a right turn maneuver when this cyclist went in on his blind side and tried to just cut in. So I wait for the police. The police show up, and, I, you know, I give them my name. I give them my number and I show them my driver's license. I was just like, I was like, man, I just want you to know I'm a witness. I saw everything that happened. The truck driver was not in the wrong. I'm sticking around here. If you need me to testify, take my statement or anything. Let me know. And um, you know, and I there was three officers that showed up. I gave all three of them um, all my information um, because number one. You know, when I see another truck driver, now if a truck driver would have done something stupid, um, like go through the median, no, nah, I'm just kidding. But, you know, I mean, if he would have done something really unsafe, stupid, to really just hurt somebody intentionally or, or bull, you know, or do something like that, I wouldn't have stuck around. 
um, unless I felt like there were some other people. But there was all these people that are gathered around the cyclist. It was like, oh, man, we saw that truck hit you. He didn't even care about you, blah, blah, blah. And I, I mean, I was just fed up. I mean, here's a truck driver. He's trying to make a living. He's trying to just go out, go out on the road. And here's this dumb cyclist that took 45 minutes of his time. So I got the truck driver's number, and I gave him my number, and I said, man, if your company calls you for anything, let me know, and I can be a witness for you, even with your company. So, and he's like, oh, man, I really appreciate that. So I called him up. Nothing came of it. In fact, the truck driver actually bought a tire for the dude's bike in there in the Walmart, you know, $20 or whatever, came out and did that for him. So out of the kindness of his heart, he didn't even have to do that. So, I, I, I tell that story to say this, you know, guys, we're in this together. Watch out for, for people who are just trying to get a lawsuit um, against another truck driver or, or yourself as a truck driver. Watch out. You know, we're, you know, we're all in this together. We're not here to compete. We're all trying to make a living. We're all trying to make money. And watch out for each other. You know, even, you might be in your own personal vehicle watch out for somebody you know watch out for those truck drivers man there's a camaraderie out here you know there there's just a sign you know show courtesy to other tr truck drivers you know if one of them's trying to get over in traffic let them get over in traffic you know what's going to be the difference in half a second of your time compared to one you know letting that guy in it's 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 not it's not even worth it it's just you know we're all in this together um communicate on your cb radio but you know, watch out for each other. You know, I'm not saying take up for illegal activity. You know, if a dude's smuggling cocaine in his truck, obviously we don't we don't support that. You know, I mean that's just ridiculousness. But if you see another somebody trying to take advantage of a truck driver, uh, a commercial vehicle, um, so they can pull in a lawsuit on that. You know, I saw the guy; he was sitting there videoing the truck driver, and you know, and that stuff just makes me irate. Um, when people act stupid so we're all in this together you know show some camaraderie you know this is you know i'm not gonna call it a brotherhood or whatever like i don't know what you want to call it but just realize that we're all out here trying to make it and um you know just a little courtesy and a little support and a little bit of encouragement goes a long way when it comes to other drivers other professional drivers um, whether you're in your truck or whether you're not so uh just remember that um, that's the end of the story so be safe out there guys watch out for bicyclists that try to go in on your blind side in between while you're making a right turn true story we'll talk at you later